is the news and talk of Texas. Now, it's the Rick Roberts Show on 820 AM, 99.5 FM, HD2, News Talk 820, WBAP. Well, I know there's got to be a few hundred million more like me just trying to keep it free. Yeah. Rick Roberts starts. Rick Roberts starts right now. All right, four minutes after the hour, uh, producer Dave as uh, screening your calls and such. Now, producer Dave, I, I you know, when I'm doing a show, I'm in the moment. So when people ask me about it later, I, I don't I don't have a clue. Exactly. Uh, I mean, you guys watch it as it's happening. I'm in the moment. I don't remember when I said what exactly. You and know usually what? taking notes. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm thinking hashtag keep politicians away from school shootings and kids. That's a long hashtag. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but we got to do it. Hashtag do your job, USA. <laughs> yeah, how many times <laughs> have they been told that? It, it, it's, it's insane to me, and it's frustrating. You could hear from the time I started the show. You and I talk. Uh, the way I, this I works. felt it when he came in this, mo- this uh, afternoon. Yeah, Dave and I talk a couple times before the show, and Randy and I usually you know, hook up during some part of the show about something. Um, but I was frustrated. I was frustrated. Not, you know, obviously nobody wants the loss of life from shooter or the kids or anything else, but I was frustrated because it was like over and over and over again, you know, whether it's Columbine or Sandy Hook or, uh, the Florida shooting, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. Politicians like come out of the woodwork. I'm not talking about the mayors of the city. They, you know, they should be there, um, the governors even. But politicians, senators and congressmen, it's like they show up, well, this is why we need to blah, 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 blah. And nobody ever calls them out on it, ever. It's like, excuse me, Senator, why are you here? Well, it's, you know, these kids will be listened to. Okay, well, the, you know, we put up with you treating them like little adults when, in fact, they're teenagers. And you're compounding the problem emotionally. And now you're using them, using them. Look up the word use. You're using them to push a political agenda. You know, this moron, this senator, um, he's out of Maryland. Uh, well, we need to ban the uh, assault-style weapons. The kid used a pistol, which is already illegal for him to have or purchase. So how about that? Well, that doesn't go uh, along with my talking points. And we need universal... Ba- why, are they, why are they there? What are they doing? No one. I asked the question. Not one person has answered that question. Why do these politicians show up like fleas on a dog every time there's a school shooting? You know, they have a kid there? No. You know somebody there? No. Well, why are you there? Showing my support for blah, 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 blah. You're there for political purposes. You are using, exploiting the death of kids for your own political purposes. No one can give me one rational reason why these guys show up. You know, we don't need gun control. We need politician control. You know, you, you barely earn your check as it is. And now you want to exploit our kids for your purposes? That's what frustrated me. I mean, yes, we know teachers, if they want to be armed, they should be armed, and most of them, I think, would probably do that. Uh, If they demonstrate proficiency, get certified, fine. Put police officers in schools. Of course, you know, here's the stumbling block there. We don't even pay police officers what they're worth on the streets, let alone in the schools. So, you, well, you know, Rick, you know, it's, it's all about gun control. No, it's about paying your police officers, your sheriff's department, what they're worth. And it's about something much more difficult than taking a close-up picture for TV tonight of an AR-15. How scary is that? You know, they, they just exploit the fears in the frailties of the human condition. It's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. But that's what they want to do, Rick. They want to make it seem like they have control of everything. Oh, I know. And we need them. 
And that's the reason why they're running down to all these mass casualty situations, a school shooting, flooding, et cetera. And that's how they're saying, hey, you need us because without us, we couldn't fix this. Well, if you think about it, you know, then that's a good point. I hadn't thought of that. That's a good point. You know, during the, the flooding after the hurricane and all that, we had Governor Abbott. That He should be there. He's the governor. And Ted you know, Cruz went down and there Ted also. Ted Cruz, you know, he, he's down there. He's from the state. You know, we're going to try and get these resources and those resources. But other than that, I don't want to see a politician in front of the TV camera. Hey, look at me. I'm just like you. I've got on my Carhartt jacket. I'm down here in a rowboat. You know, it didn't do anything for me. But I'll give uh, Governor Abbott and Senator Cruz they didn't go down there to fix things. They were like, hey, what's going on? What can well, we yeah, do to help to you? To offer it, help. It wasn't yeah. a, hey, you know, we got to stop these these little flooding waters. How can we stop flooding waters? See, they, build, build they, didn't, they didn't go down and start hammering Democrats. Well, if the Democrats would give us more money to shore up this levy and blah, blah, blah. That's essentially what politicians are doing now at school shootings. You know, these kids will be listened to. These kids want action. They will not be told no. They don't, the kids don't even know what the questions are. You know, as I said, Senator Cardin, and there were a few others, you know, uh, we need student activism. For what? You can barely educate them to read past an eighth grade level uh, when they get out of high school. These students are literally just not taking no for an answer. I can tell you that Americans are listening to our students. No, we're just watching it play off on the bias news media they're shouting and screaming and saying government help us there's nothing the government can do nothing well it's kind of like what you said the other day rick what we were watching is child abuse on yeah, television this, this is nothing less nothing less than child abuse by politicians on your kids and mine that's what it is uh, all right, uh, 11 minutes after the hour, 4.11 the time. Let me do this. Yeah, When I get frustrated, I, I rant and rave. Um, and, and you probably do too. I'm just sick of it. I, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of talking about guns when guns have nothing to do with it. Tired about talking about the NRA when they had nothing to do with it. We're talking about something that takes a concerted effort, some expertise, and heavy lifting, that's, and it's not very much fun. We've got to reverse our mindset on how we treat kids. You treat them like kids, not like little short adults that maybe you'll be a vote one day. That's what you do. And you don't use them as a political shield shield for your critics, which is also being done. You know, somebody asked me, I know I got a break, but somebody asked me the other day, you know, it's, Rick, Hillary did this, and Hillary did that, and yes, Hillary ought to be in jail. All right, stop. I get it. Hillary should be under the jail. I agree with you. You know as well as I do that's not going to happen. Nobody in D.C. That, I'll give you an example. After the second tower fell on 9-11, did the politicians start talking about uh, shoring up our borders? No, because there's no political will to do that. Not from Republicans or Democrats. There was no political will to secure the nation. Even after 9-11, there was no political will. So that should tell you, if it follows, if there's no political will to do something and something needs to be done at a federal level, it's not going to get done. There's no political will to put Hillary in jail. But we just rehash this thing over and over and over and over again. And, and somebody asked me, well, why is it we keep dealing with this every day? Because Republicans won't stop talking about her. And I'm probably as guilty as anyone else. She's not running for office. She lost. Yes, it's comical. I guess if you're looking for a, some type of comical relief, that's one thing. Yeah, if, if the Republicans would stop talking about her, she'd probably go away or self-destruct, figuratively speaking. Oh, man. This is a day, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, this is probably not a day to cut me off in traffic.